Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is the name of the one true God, and Yahweh Shai is the name of His only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. And I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And I want to send salutations to all the Akim throughout the four corners of the earth, exalting the name of Yahweh and its only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, in truth and in sincerity. All right, so this lesson is going to be about what was said on uh, NBA on TNT, the uh, Inside the NBA crew. Or uh, TNT, Slakia, the NBA on TNT, uh, inside the NBA crew. They were speaking about uh, Kyrie Irving. And, um, you know, of course, the you know, the two coons, you know, um, Shaquille O'Neal and Charles Barkley, of course, you know, they, they, they went shucking and jiving, you know, boot licking, you know, and. You know, going against Kyrie, called him uh, an idiot and said that he should be suspended, you know. Um, but, you know, this is, you know, it, it is what it is, you know. At the end of the day, the most important thing is that the word is being spread. And uh, that these devils, man, they they don't like being on the other end of the barrel, you know, because now... People are looking at them, questioning them, and their, you know, their legitimate, legitimate, see, you know, how legit is 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 their religion, and their identity, you know, and they're being they're being questioned, and they don't like that, you know. So now they got the they even called in a bunch of rabbis, you know. <laughs> To, to speak and things of that nature, you know, um, to talk on uh, inside the NBA and ESPN and things of that nature, it's just, it's corny as hell. Now, so they got rabbis speaking, but when rabbis debate, they get destroyed, you know, in their debate, a uh, biblical uh, debate, because they can't. Uh, compete against the true prophets of the Lord, man. All right. The Lord said, I will give you a tongue no man can gang say. All right. Meaning nobody can defeat. All right. So, you know, when they go against the truth, you know, you can do nothing against the truth but for it, you know. So even when they go against it, it's being spread, you know. But play this clip, you know, from from Chuck and, and Shaq and, and get some scriptures, man, because, you know what I'm saying, they, they didn't like the fact that Kyrie did what he did. And, you know, we all know that Shaquille O'Neal is a, a huge Freemason. As a matter of fact, you know, let's get that. Let's get that real quick. Yeah. Oh, that's from the other lesson. I did. Uh, let me see. As you can see, look at this. Look at that. That's your man's right there. You know, at, at at his lodge. All right, you can see all these other actors. Look at them. Look at that. Look at these. Look at these dudes, man. Masons, man. Big ass masons. Look at look at all these these so called heroes in the black community. All masons, man. Sugar Ray Robinson, Jesse Jackson, just to name a few. Some of these I don't even know, you know. Don King, <laughs> Al Sharpton, 
Yeah, all these Negroes, man. Yeah, look at this. Look at this guy. <laughs> That's y'all man's right there. Now, let's see what he's got to say about Kyrie. Oh, no. But us, I know that, that, you know, the game that we used to love and we promote, it brings people together. And it hurts me sometimes when we have to sit up here to talk about stuff that divides the game. Now, now we got to answer for what this idiot has done. Uh, you know, I'm, I stand for equality of all people. I've always been like that. Don't matter what religion, no matter where you're from. I can say shalom, salam alaikum, ni hao, say bon, because that's how I was raised. So I don't, I don't really want to sit up here and answer questions for what he's done. You know, if you're looking at me, it's my job to make people happy. I, I, I can't speak for him and, you know, answer for, for you know, what he's doing. It's, it's obviously by his answers and the way he answers, he doesn't really care. You know, he's talking about, you know, separation. He's he, he talking about equality, you know, dividing the game, dividing people. Well, let me hear some newsflash, man. God is about division and separation. All right. Let me see. This is Deuteronomy 32 and 8. It says, when the Most High divided the nations, their inheritance, when he separated the sons of Adam, he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. For the Lord's portion is his people, Jacob, is the lot of his inheritance. So the Lord separated the nations and gave them their inheritance, man. Their lands and things of that nature, all right? You know, their, their customs and things of that nature, all right? But the children of Israel belong to the Lord, man. That's his portion. There's a separation right there, man. All right? There's a separation right there, all right? And uh, even when you go to... Isaiah 40, and I think it's, I think it's 10. Uh, yeah, 40 and 15, Isaiah 40 and 15. Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket and are counted as the small dust of the balance. All right. So he says the nation, a nation of, of people that there's there's other nations of people. OK. All right. And God said the nations of people are like a drop from a bucket. When you when there's one drop from a bucket full of water, you don't care about that drop. You got the abundance of water in the bucket. You care about the abundance, the majority. OK. But you don't care about that little drop. The little drop is nothing. And after you've weighed something on a balance. Once you take off the material, whatever residue is on it, you just kind of blow it off. It doesn't it doesn't mean anything. So they're like the small dust on a balance, man. You just blow that off and it's nothing. Behold, he taketh up the aisles as a little a very little thing. Verse 17. All the nations before him are as nothing. They are counted to him less than nothing. And vanity. Vanity is emptiness. Nothing. They are counted to them. The, the, the people that God created are counted to him less than nothing. A piece of shit is something. But God looks at them like they're nothing, man. They're less than nothing. That's God Almighty saying that, man. So, yeah, man. The Lord is a separatist and he's all for his people. The, <laughs> and, and, yeah, the Jews, the real Jews, the, the Israelites. So called Latinos, Native Americans, and Negroes, man. That's who the Lord is for. And that's it. I think the NBA dropped the ball. In what way? Uh, I think he should have been suspended. Uh, I think Adam should have suspended him. First of all, Adam's Jewish. You can't take my $40 million and insult my religion. Number one, Kyrie Irving is a is a is a employee of the NBA. That 40 million he worked for. People paid 
to see they, they paid him to perform. So he earned his forty million. He didn't just give him that. He earned that, man. All right, which is crazy. He earned that forty million, and he said something about his religion. It is what it is, man. Prove, prove, prove to him that you that you are what you say you are, which he is not. But you know they're gonna come for Kyrie, and, and right now they already suspended him five games, so they already got him. And he somewhat apologized, but, you know, they're on Kyrie right now, man. They're coming for him. You're going to insult me. You have the right, but I have the right to say, no, you're not going to take my $40 million and insult my religion. I think the NBA, they made a mistake. We have suspended people and fined people who have made homophobic slurs. Uh, and that, that was the right thing to do. I think if you insult the, uh, the black community, you should be suspended or fined heavily, depending. I saw they did. Yeah, Chuck would just be saying a whole bunch of nothing. And he called Kyrie an idiot, you know. But that's just what it is. All right. This is uh, Isaiah 47 and 1. It says, come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground. There is no throne. O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. Take the millstones and grind mill, uncover thy locks, make bare the leg, uncover the thigh, overpass the rivers. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered, yea, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance and will not meet thee as a man. <laughs> All that to the uh, virgin daughter of Babylon, and it's because it's being uh, exposed on all all fronts, all ends. All right, you know, for, you know, <laughs> prophecy is being fulfilled, man. You know, Babylon's getting weak. They just raided a mili uh, um, um, U.S. military. They raided it, the weakest it's ever been. You know. And it's crazy. <laughs> but that's just what it is. They got him weak. Like you tell you in the book of Joel, let the let the weak say I am strong. Hey, the weak meaning the other nations. The other nations are stronger than 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 uh, Babylon, which is America. All right? And they're being un, un uh, they're being they're being exposed, man. All right? By the prophets. All right? Cuz this word is spreading and it's hurting them. But you got to remember, man, with us the prophets of the Lord, they're going to hate us and the world's going to hate you for the truth. Just look at what they're doing with these, these so-called celebrities, man, who somewhat know a little knowledge, but they got a zeal, but not according to knowledge, like the Bible says. The Bible says that they have a zeal, but not according to knowledge. Like Kyrie has a zeal, but it's not according to knowledge. Kendrick Lamar and all these other guys, they got a zeal, but it's not according to knowledge, meaning it's not according to the correct doctrine, but they got a zeal. They know a little something, you know, it's sparking. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's in them a little bit, but not fully. This is John 15, 19. If ye were of the world, the world would love his own. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. So the world's going to hate us, man. Because we're not of the world. We don't just get along and go along. Like Shaq. You know, I just want to be here to make people happy. Hey, man. The Bible talks about how, you know, saying beware if the world, if everybody in the world loves you, man. You know? <laughs> because you're probably just doing something to appease them, man. And you're part of the world, man. So if Shaq is a part of the world, all these people are in the world. And the world is crumbling. But just know that it hated the Lord, man. And it's going to hate you too. So with that, all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai.